Aquarius, hello, welcome. Let's jump right in here and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and attentions towards you, okay? Now, keep in mind, Aquarius, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. All right, Aquarius. What else here? I want to shuffle all the cards out first. And I'll tell you what I see here regardless of who this is that you are dealing with, okay? Thank you. Oh, here we go. Between two men, huh? In between two men. I don't know what that means. Your person's in between two men. You and, oof. Oof, I don't know. Let me keep going. That's not for all of you, but. <laughs> and they're like, fuck it. Ten of swords, drop it. It's like, what? Keep going here, Aquarius. Right, Aquarius. So right away here, in regards to who this is that you were dealing with. So it looks like here that they, they just go on a journey, take a leap of faith with you and they feel good. There's a lot of passion, excitement, you know, plans being made and it's wonderful. You know, there's a sense of loving, nurturing, friendly, kind kind of energy here. They're mostly committed to you here in any way, shape or form, whether, you know, I don't know who this is to you. Okay. And um, once again, more passion, more fire, moving quick and then huge, painful ego death. And now they feel stuck, scared, restricted, trapped by you stuck i don't know now they're going through a very painful ending and then do they just dip out and leave do they go on a vacation do they fly travel relocate take a drive i don't know there's a lot of things progressing and speeding up but it looks like it's actually leading to public success and recognition so either they have this on their own or they have this with you combined i don't know but they're getting recognized and noticed or something good is going on of you know success and positivity which is nice and then right after this here they just choose to kind of be in solitude, keep to themselves, get some counseling, maybe get some information to figure out what it is they want to do. There's a message. They message someone, you know, or, you know, them, you, whatever it is here. They feel motivated and inspired to say something or do something. And then this is where things get a little bit like, let's put the cloak over this or let's just blindfold Aquarius from this. Or let me just kind of hide a little bit and just be really fucking deceptive, basically. So, are they hiding that they're pregnant with you or with someone else? Let's just be real here, okay? Or is it the fact that more so it's like, I don't know what they're even doing, to be honest. It's like it's spooky yuki, it's quiet, it's hidden. They are confused, but they're trying to keep their cool. There they are with their position, money, wealth, status. They could be a mother figure, father figure to you or with you, okay? And then right after that, deception at its finest. Lying, cheating, stealing, doing something to you for the sake of an idea, for the sake of, I don't know what, money, kids, I have no clue. After that, now they're fucking depressed. Now they're attacking you and they're aggressive because are they really in love with you if they're attacking you? I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe. Or do they need to be single and they're in love with someone else? That fast, which makes no sense. Now they want to close the door on their new love. Hmm. Hmm. 
and then they go, I don't know, maybe think of divorce because there's something here with contracts or trying to balance things out. And then they're back to thinking of the past. Now, for some of you, maybe it's an ex that's just obsessed with you. Maybe it's an ex that just wants you back. I don't know. I do see that storyline, okay? Because I feel like you're asking about, you don't really give a shit about who you're with and married to, Aquarius. You give more fuck about who you are thinking of from your past, okay? For some of you here. Now, regardless of what, <laughs> as it honked outside, uh, whatever it is, there's past stuff and actually there's nostalgia. It's all great. And then they're just waiting. They're waiting and planning and waiting and planning for you and towards you. They're willing to invest or they are investing and figuring things out. It's good. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. Bored, stuck, miserable, unsettled, uncomfortable. No, 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 no. I can't do fuck this. And then they just dip out. And it's this energy though. It's like they feel lack of and left out. Maybe they're losing money and or they no longer, they have to walk away from using you as a physical, financial, emotional, energetic crutch. Okay. So let's see more here. Fuck. It's like, get off of my hands. All right. Let's see more here. Okay, that seems to make them very happy here with you. Okay, whatever that may be. They're happy, they're excited, and then all of a sudden they go cold towards you. And then now they randomly have passion towards you to then start shit with you and compete and fight you and com be conflicted with themselves. No, I call bullshit. Why? Because they showed me they are in a relationship with you. Now, this makes sense if they're just obsessed with you. It's either an ex or just a new person that's like, I gotta have Aquarius. And then I see those of you in a marriage and relationship, they're only with you for social media, success, public recognition, and money. And they're definitely clucking someone on the side. And I've tried to tell you, but I just look like the fucking crazy clown. So it's fine. Don't believe me. But you guys know that shit's true. I don't care. I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. Today I'm white. <laughs> so I don't give a shit. I've been saying this for years now, but who cares? Okay. Now here's the thing. Because it's like this. Okay. They go cold towards you. Okay, now they have passion towards you or someone else. And then they want to fight you and compete with you and start some shit and, and whatever. And now they're conflicted with themselves. Okay. Then they just want to make the peace because they are in a relationship with you. Okay. Or for some of you, they just want to, you know, this is your friend. <laughs> okay. Um, who wants more possibly with you or is just using you. Okay. And they have their own. I see, I, I know, I see the Aquarius. So um, the, uh, there's two Aquariuses. The one that's besties with someone that's in a marriage or relationship, but you, you guys have that weird polyamorous shit. You know, your, 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 your buddy I'm talking to the Aquarius female, the one who, what she call herself? Pansexual or whatever the fuck. I don't even care. Whatever. That's fine. Freak, let your fra freak flag fly. I don't care. Um, what she's saying is you don't mean shit, okay? She's going to stay in her relationship, but you help her, I guess, look good with money. I don't fucking know. The rest of you, the person you're in a relationship with, they don't want to be with you, but they're only with you for everything you've built. They're fucking around. They got someone else on the side and they already did the dirty deed too. I don't know how that's fast. Anyway, looks like they're just going to stay with you for the sake of all the what? The 10 of pentacles. That's not a marriage card, just in case you want to read tarot. There you go. All right. Now, you could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Thank you. Bye.